Welcome back to Let's Play Glover. Last time we completed the Carnival World and got another ball. Why do I even bother recapping? It's just going to be the same thing every time. Okay, no more recaps. That's it. It's not for this LP. And that makes four out of seven crystals. Only three more to go. That's right, Glover. Thumbs up. Whoa. Dramatic change in scenery. Honestly, the world's pretty much fine now. I'm mean, sure it's a little foggy, but it's good for the sinuses. I could live in this place. So what if that wizard's still a statue? Good. He caused this shit in the first place, and he'd probably do it again. Right over there is our next destination. We actually have two worlds unlocked right now. I'm just choosing this one first. I think it was the same way with the pirate and carnival worlds. In case you're wondering, that's not a tree stone, that's a volcano. Welcome to the prehistoric world. I felt the need to say what it was because it wasn't really obvious. Oh, goody, ice level. Through a volcano gate, that makes sense. Uh, actually, it does. Something nice about this world is that it changes environments with each level. Only the first level is an ice world. Thank God for that. And there's our ball, of course, frozen. Do I even need to explain what to do here? Let's go with the marble. Ah, something I forgot to mention. When you roll your ball around here, it accumulates snow and gets bigger and heavier. Not really useful at all, it's kind of just a hindrance. See? Snowball. Nah, I was considering trying to hit that B, but it wasn't going to work. Grabs under the ice, don't forget about them. There's somehow no water down here, that makes sense. Oh, ice physics. Gotta love them. Pfft, fail. Okay, horror ball. Actually, wait, let me try something. Uh, no, Glover, I was trying to do a lob. Lob. That other thing, not the slap. Okay, you know what? Fine. I was ready to take back what I said about the lob being useless, but now. You just had to go and fuck with me. Oh no, watch out for this guy. He breathes fire. Here's a nice secluded checkpoint. Now I know what you're thinking, but no, there is nothing hidden around here. No invisible paths or anything like that. Trust me, I've tried it. Now for this section. Oh boy. The idea is to go to each one of these little junctions here. Bounce, and when a snowball comes, hold. But don't throw the ball like I did. No, that is stupid. Just bounce and hold. Wow, that was close. Bounce and hold. And there we go. Harder than it looks.
Oh, this guy. This guy sucks. Watch, watch this. He freaking bum rushes your ball. And I think I just lost it too. Yep. What is that guy's problem, seriously? Look, watch this. He doesn't care about Glover, no. But if you're holding the ball, he comes right at it. What a douche. And I'm having a very hard time killing this douche. Just get off the cliff, buddy. You're not wanted. Thank you. Oh boy. Uh, what the hell? Hear that? That's time to be pressing every button. Oh, are you kidding me? What the hell do I do? Come on, game. Throw me a bone. Well, this sucks. Oh, okay. Huh? I'm sorry, I'm just having some difficulty processing what I just saw. That was weird. Oh, now the fucker respond! <laughs> Alright, that's the way he wants to play it. Hey buddy, want my ball so much? Here, come and get it! That actually didn't do anything, but... Tell good. You know what? Good enough. Oh, and, uh, by the way... Yeah. They went there. It's part 10. Don't even pretend to be surprised with us anymore. the end. Wow, short level. Yes. Even with that uh, strange glitch I experienced. That was something else. Honestly, that almost beats Faceless Travis. Doesn't, but almost.